Hey everyone, my name is Matt. I'm gonna help you automate your fitness business. And today I've got a really, really interesting video because it's not often a new platform will surprise me as much as this one has. And I honestly think this could be a really massive contender against Zapier and Make in the future, uh, but also allowing people who are very uh, fresh and not super technical to start deploying AI agents in their business. And if you are technical, then being able to harness this and deploy it in your business or deploy it in other people's businesses if you if you do this like I do for people. So the platform is called lindy.ai. Now, if you haven't heard of Lindy, it is, you know, Make and Zapier meets ChatGPT Claude. So it's really combining the two to create AI agents uh, for businesses. Now, the, the term AI agent has kind of been coined for a task that is repeatable and would normally be done by a human being replaced with AI. Now, it is a bit of a clickbaity term. However, AI agent is a really great way to just describe a workflow uh, because workflow could mean really anything. AI agent, however, does give you a bit of insight to what it is. So looking at Lindy straight off, before I even go through anything, I, I always like to check the pricing of these platforms because it really does take um, take things into perspective when you know, you're paying $30 a month for these platforms, but is it going to give you everything you need to get started? So looking at Lindy, uh, their pro is $29.99 with 3,000 credits. Now, this might be a little bit confusing, but pro, $29.99, um, but their credits are your AI usage. So, you know, you'll be prompted on how many credits you're using per task. Um, and this is just something to be considerate of. If you go over that, obviously, you can increase to 4,000 um, and your price goes up to 100,000 sorry, it goes up to $100 with, you know, um, 10,000 credits. I think, let's see what the max this is. Can we go higher than 99? Yeah, we can. So it just continues to scale up, right? Um, and that's really like, you're going to have to be using that significantly in order to um, to use that many credits. But for most people, you know, the, the entry level is probably enough. It just really depends on how you use it. So it just works through what a credit here, all that kind of stuff. So we're, we're going to leave that for the minute because you can go through that on your own. Because uh, there's a couple of things I really want to go through first. Lindy, as I said, is for the user who isn't as technical or is technical and wants to really step it up a notch. Now, the reason I say that is because they have a bunch of templates that give you a lot of uh, ability that a lot of dedicated platforms, you know, um, give you. So, for example, you've got Meeting Note Taker. That's like a Fathom or a Fireflies. You've got a Email Responder. That's, you know, there's plenty of email responders out there. You've got Website Customer Support. Embed Lindy on your website and give yourself a knowledge base to go back and forth with. Like, this is condensing, you know, chat base. This is condensing make Zapier. It's condensing just a bunch of different tools. So this is really cool that I think people can pick this up and run with it really quickly. Like for example, lead outreacher. So this one here, I'm going to, I haven't actually taken a look at this, but I, uh, I've been wanting to, but this information here gives you a walkthrough on how to do things. So Lindy will begin outreach when a new lead is added to your Google sheet. So I guess this one's just a matter of having a Google sheet where you add in some prospect details uh, and it will then run it through. So it tells you exactly what needs to be done. And for most people, this is actually quite easy to you know plug and play. And that's what I like about this a lot is the fact that you can uh, plug and play a lot of these workflows. Whereas you know Zapier make they're introducing these AI builders. However, they're not always yeah, that good. <laughs> so this one it really allows people just to get going as quickly as possible. So for example, here we've got our triggers. So message received or an added new row. Uh, so all we would need to do is click on this one, add a uh, Google sheet from where we are reading the information from, and then it's going to send our first outreach email. So if you have a look here, it's already got Claude uh, 3.5, which is my preferred, preferred LLM, embedded into the, the workflow. It's not like I have to select an additional tool. I don't have to use a different module. I can use it inside the actual step, which this is, I think is really cool. So this one here, um, again, it's going to start putting together a email for me to the person. So I've got their details and this is already plugged in with the help of AI, right? So the email address you've received is in here. It takes that information, finds the email and plugs it in. 
Uh, the subject, a one to two word subject line based on the information you have on the user and the lead. So this is, we would set this manually. Um, again, you can use AI to prompt it. And then this is just examples to prompt, on, prompt you along. So what we've got here uh, after our first email is, after first email is sent, we're waiting for a response. After reply received, it goes through and updates via Slack. But I really want to show um, what it has next here in, in being able to use chat GPT. So yeah, this here, oh, not chat GPT, LLMs. So if a response is received, it says go down this path if the prospect did not respond to the original email outreach. Go to next step if no response. What I like about this is we're traditionally um, if else paths. If you've used Zapier, if you've done any kind of coding in the past, if else is basically what this logic is, is if this happens, then this happens. Or if this happens, else this happens, right? This is taking away that and gives you a text box to essentially write that. So go down this path. If prospect did not respond to original email outreach, go to next step if no response. If this, then that, right? I think this is cool because it allows the adoption of these um, these workflows to people who don't have as much experience. So from here, it kind of goes through and, and repeats the same thing. But one thing I wanted to go through and kind of show you a little bit um, more in depth is this Slack one that I was uh, playing around with as well. So if we go into Slack Task Creator, now this is how I'm I've started using it. Um, it's still I'm still getting the the hang of it, but on a reoccurring schedule, which is every day at 8 a.m., it gets all the messages from my Slack. Now, when I say all the messages, I mean any message that's come into me in channels, in DMs, whatever it is, it will find them, right? So it's using Claude. The channel will be the exact ID or name of the channel, and I can select um, which one I want it to be, essentially. So let me just flick through here. So the channel can be the exact ID. AI will automatically fill out this field. Start, will AI will do it, and when it's completed, right? And if you run this, I think I can run this manually, so I'll show you in a second. It will kind of walk you through uh, the prompts as we go. And then when I've got, a, um, I've got all my messages, it's prompting it to an Airtable board, right? So I have all my tasks for the day, literally a to-do list written for me from all the information that people have given me. This used to take like significant steps on make to watch all channels, watch um, all email inboxes, like all of that kind of stuff is now condensed into like four modules, which is nuts. So if we take a look here, if we press test, let's see if it will let us do it. So timer on the right hand side, uh, obviously, um, oops, let's go back. Uh, let's just have a look. Reoccurring, it's, it's forced it, its hand anyway. And then it's walking through what's getting done. So get messages. I see that there is a scheduler no a trigger notification, not an actual task request. I'll wait for actual task request, which is good. And it's not going to run because it's not that time. And I also don't have any messages. So this is really cool because now, as I said, I wake up and I've got all of my to-do lists written for me. Now, if you are like, if you want to think about this a little bit deeper, if you're a gym and you have different um, contact channels, right? And you get emails, you get Instagram DMs, you get messages through your training app, you get messages through um, text message, WhatsApp, whatever it might be. This platform will most likely be able to bring them all into one place and then you just get a to-do list. And for me, that is massive. Um, Whilst this is just a really quick run, run through of the, of the platform, I think you should check it out play with it and see what you can kind of discover in it. Um, I'm definitely going to upgrade this. Like I've literally, you know, spent seven credits and I already know that this is going to go straight into my rotation. Um, and I have more videos to come on this as well. So if you guys found this beneficial as a bit of a walkthrough of Lindy, um, I hope you guys can, you know, make some cool stuff with it as well. Uh, just let me know if there's anything particular that you want to see built around it. I am going to really blow this up in terms of um, knowledge bases and, and chatbots and, and that kind of thing. So uh, look forward to hearing back from you guys if you want to drop some comments. If you want to join my free school community, um, we're launching some really cool things in there within this month. Um, it's totally free. You can find the link below and I will speak to you guys soon. Peace.